and welcome to Wisconsin Huddle Unleashed. I'm Zach Hanley. He's Tanner Bordellini. And we're going to play some darts. Tanner, when's the last time you played darts? It's been a few months, so I might be a little rough. A few months? Who's picking these games? Three, two, one. What, what number do I need? Six? All right, I'll let you go first. Oh. Ooh. Uh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> been a, been yeah. a few months. Been a few okay, months. all right, all right. All right, so three, three sport athlete in high school, right? Yep. What was your favorite sport? Not football. I would say basketball. Oh, that was bad. Um, really like the team atmosphere of it. I think it's similar to football in that. Uh, I'm stepping up here. <laughs> a little more fun running up and down the court. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I could. I would have to make a business decision if I saw you coming at me full steam in the paint. <laughs> I'm not taking that charge. Wouldn't blame you. <laughs> so uh, the mullet. Mm -hmm. How long have you been growing it? So I usually cut it at the end of every season and then I immediately regret it. So uh, <laughs> of course. about January I started growing it again. Um, and uh, you know, uh, Joe Tittman inspired me to do it again. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I've been rocking with that and I think I'll rock with it till the end of the Is year. Is your family a fan of it? Yeah, I think uh, to an extent, once it gets a little out of control, uh, mom's always pushing for a haircut. Of course she is. Uh, but other than that, uh, my little brother loves it. Uh, cousins love it. My mom's always the one that kind of wants yeah. the haircut stuff. So when you're not playing football, when you're not studying the film, watching tape, what does Tanner Bordellini like to do to get away from the game? Just enjoy some time with uh, some friends. Uh, I think uh, hunting and fishing were always a big part of my life, but uh, hunting, you know, is a little harder during the season. Um, and then I think just spending time with my teammates, uh, you know, they're the guys that uh, I really just enjoy being around and just kind of getting to know them better and uh, make those memories with them is something I'll always cherish and uh, enjoy doing. Would you say that uh, the O-line is the most fun group on the team? Oh, for sure. I think, uh, you know, we're a bunch of big guys and because of that, I think, uh, you know, we have a bond over that and uh, definitely the most fun-loving group. You want to oh, not, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't mean to interrupt, but I just wanted to make sure you saw that. <laughs> make sure we got it on camera. <laughs> they probably didn't get it on camera. <laughs> so you... I like the jack of all trades when it comes to positions on the O line. Do you have a favorite? And what is your okay, I'll go. And what is your uh, has it been hard to learn all these positions? I would say my favorite center. Um, just because I love like being the guy in charge and making the final call. Uh, and with learning center, I think you learn a lot about the other positions. You know, you kind of learn the assignments of them all, uh, which is really beneficial. Um, I think especially transitioning between all three. Uh, so being able to kind of be able to just flip between all those is good, but there's always some small technique changes between the three. Um, so when you flip to guard, tackle, there's some small adjustments, but I think playing center and knowing what everyone has to do on every play has uh, been huge for me. So, Wisconsin kid, you're a Badger. I'm assuming you watched the Badgers growing up. What's it mean for you to be a part of that tradition and, and wear the, the red and white on Saturdays. It's awesome. Uh, growing up as a kid in Wisconsin, it's always a dream to play here. Um, you got to watch a lot of great teams over the years, um, and especially a lot of great linemen. And I think uh, being able to join that tradition and be a part of that is it's huge for me. And uh, there's nothing that excites me more. And I, I'm, I I'm just love being a part of it. Anybody want to throw for me? All right. All right you, you, saw, you saw the bullseyes, right? Saw the bullseye. We'll, we'll let Tanner go first, but no all right, pressure. All right, all right. I'm expecting at least one bullseye from you. No. <laughs> oh. All right. Kind of lofts it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's your favorite Badger offensive lineman? 
has to be Joe Thomas, I think, you know. One of the guys that played at the highest level for a long time, both uh, college and professionally, and I think, you know, you always aspire to be like someone, be like someone like that, and you model your play off that. Um, and didn't, didn't you work out with him a little bit in the, in the off season, or was mm -hmm. it early in the spring? Uh, in the spring, we'd, me and uh, Jack Nelson did uh, some work with him, and it was really just kind of gr great to pick his brain. Uh, he's a guy that's been there, done a lot of great yeah. things. Uh, so to be able to learn a little bit from him uh, was awesome, and uh, just a great guy to know. Were you a little uh, starstruck a little bit? Did you have to pinch yourself? Like, hey man, this is Joe Thomas? Absolutely, I mean, it's Joe Thomas. Yeah. Like, you know, I think uh, for anybody in Wisconsin, especially in the Wisconsin offensive lineman, uh, Joe Thomas is a, like to that echelon of person where he's, he's like a celebrity. Like, whoa, yeah. like, that's Joe Thomas. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, no, but it was great getting to learn some stuff from him and uh, couldn't be more grateful. On game days, do you have any routines, superstitions that you kind of go through or you never do on, on Saturdays? Um, I think it's just, you know, going over the plays, running around in my head, what we might see. Uh, just kind of listening to my pregame soundtrack and uh, just taking the time away for myself. You know, I think just limiting distractions, you know, no phone or anything like that. Just focusing, focusing on the game, what we have to do. Any music? Uh, just a little bit. I try to keep myself not too fired up before the game. You know, an hour 20, I'll listen to some country, and then once it gets closer, a little more rock music, start to pick up the tempo a little bit and uh, get fired up. Let's go, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Uh, now I need to hit one. Of course, of course. You got one first. You got one first. All right, Tanner, um, I'm not going to really let everyone know who was the green and who was the red. Uh, but we had a great time. Thanks for playing darts with me. Uh, I think this is my sport, would you say? I have to agree. I mean, board says it all. Board doesn't lie. For Tanner Bordellini, I'm Zach Hanley. Stay tuned for more Wisconsin How to Unleash next week.